Hi Internet, this is Al over here at Paler, and today we're going to show you a couple minutes on introduction to AutoCAD 2010. If you have never played with AutoCAD at all, then don't worry about it. We're going to take it step by step in little pieces. If you have, well, uh, you can charge your head on your own, okay? Anyways, I have set up this screen, this workplace, to look like this because I want to be able to show you something in a certain order. You have to understand that learning AutoCAD, I mean, there's a thousand paths to learn it. It all depends what you want to do. Now, first off, if your cursor is in the middle of the screen like mine, I want you to drop, drop it all the way down to the bottom of your monitor. That way, this little kink I got in the system that does not allow you to look at these buttons that I'm flashing right now, okay, goes away. So if you are if you uh, move your mouse and your crosshairs all the way down to the bottom of your screen, your monitor screen, you can see all of these buttons light up. What are they? Well, there's something new to AutoCAD in the last couple of years. Easiest way to figure out what they are? Go to anyone, right click. Okay. Left click the use icons. Left click. And now you've turned them to buttons. You want to go back to the icons right click use icons activate it there they are so how do you change by right clicking go get on any icon at all doesn't matter which right click use icons or deactivate icons and there, there there it is notice the buttons light up as does the icons as do the icons okay so you can select ortho and or o snap object snap okay let's take a look over the side this right here is called a toolbar. There are three toolbars that I have uh, before us right now. This is the um, the the uh, drawing toolbar. This is the modify or erasing toolbar. This is the dimension or measuring toolbar. I put these here because this is where I want to start today. Okay. Let's see. Right up top here, you have your colors, just like in the old. Just click on that, and you'll see it. The old AutoCAD. Okay. You know, it comes complete with your palette, so on and so forth. Left click, it goes away. Right over here, you have your line type. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, you know what that is. And of course, over here is line thickness. Okay. Basically, your properties. Okay. Up here, we have. Um, uh, here's uh, properties, uh, you know, uh, your pan, your uh, magnifying glass to blow it up or down, so on and so forth. So everything's across here, just like in the old AutoCAD. Okay, so let's see. If we want to draw a line, we can pick up line right here. See if you hover over it, you get the flag that comes up. Left click, come over here someplace, left click, release move the mouse, left click, press enter, and there you have it. Or, left click, left click, move the mouse, left click, right click, enter. You see? So you can find enter either on the keyboard or at the end of your drawing or at the end of your task, hit right click and it'll come up. Do the same here for a circle for instance. Okay, left click, open it up, left click, it's done. Hit enter and you're out of it. Or you can go left click, open it up, left click, right click. Okay, I don't want to repeat, I just want to say goodbye. Speaking of goodbye, it's time to go.